Hey everyone, in this short video, I am going to talk about the ng container element and why and how it is used inside Angular templates. I am assuming that you already know about the basics of Angular apps like how to create them and do stuff like create components, do routing, etc. So if you are using structural directives like ng4 and ngif or maybe custom directives in your Angular app templates then you will most definitely face some situations when you can't really use a container element as a child of another element. I'm talking about container elements like div and span. For example, let's suppose that you need to apply both ng4 and ngif directives together on table rows, but you are not really sure how to do that because elements like div and span aren't really allowed inside HTML table and if used they will group elements in an unpredictable manner you still gotta do something about this issue also if you are thinking that we can just place two structural directives in a single element or component then let me break bad news to you angular does not allow that so you are left with placing another descendant element to use the second structural directive for problems like these the ng container element comes to the rescue Let's look at a code example before I will proceed to show you the use of ng container element. But before we begin, I would like to request you all that if in the course of watching this video you feel that you liked it or learned something from it, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. This will really help me as a big encouragement to keep creating new videos on a regular basis. So for this code example, I am going to add a property to this app component class and I'm going to call it persons and this is an array now let's also add the ng on init event so that we can initialize our persons array and I'm going to add some rms to it which are basically objects with properties of first name last name and age so there are basically two objects over here let me just increase the size of this window there are four objects which are added to this array and these are for four persons now in the html of app component i will create a table and that table will simply list all the person objects which are in the person's array so for that let's add the headings first I'm just going to copy and paste all of this stuff maybe yep I only need three columns for first name last name and then age Now to add the rows, the table rows for all the persons, I can use the ng for um, structural directive and to do that I will use the directive in a table row element. So ng for and then let person of persons and then inside it I can add table cells. So in the first one, I'm going to put the first name and then the last name and then finally the age. All right, so our table is printing on the page with the first name, last name and age values. Now, right now I have only used a single directive which is ng4. Now let's consider a situation where I also need to put a condition that only print the details or information of a person if the age of the person is uh, above or below any certain value so let's say that I only want to 
uh, you know add those persons to the table whose age is above 60 so not all of these person objects have the age property with the value of um, age above 16 so not all of them are going to be printed but nonetheless we need to apply this condition and the best way um, without using ng container at this point is to add another container element to contain all of these three cells inside something because we cannot use um, two directives on a single element so the most sensible way which i can think of is to add another div or maybe not another div a single div and then let's move the table cells to this div and then add the ng if directive over here and then we can put in the condition that if the person's dot age is above 60 then only um, print these cells so let's see what happens when we do that so now you can see that the um, only two person objects information is being printed but the layout of the table has been messed up because right now the div is the direct descendant of this table row and the table row has no way of knowing that if there are table cells um, inside it as a direct descendant so it is actually uh, printing the first name last name and age which is not in the structural of this table which we have created now the solution to this problem is to not use the div and the table row elements to um, put in the um, the structural directives of ng4 and ngf and instead use ng um, ng container to do that so i'm going to make the changes to this table to use ng container so ng container at runtime uh, will not be rendered only the contents of ng container will be uh, displayed or not displayed depending on the, um, the the conditions or the or the logic which we will place inside the directive which we will use for the ng container so i'm going to add two ng containers actually you know what let's add one inside another so the outer one will be used for the ng4 directive and the inner one will be used for the ngf directive and i'm going to move the table cells to the to the inner ng um, container element and then let's move this logic over here and then let's move the if logic to over here and i think that's pretty much it so what should happen is at runtime the uh, for, for the for the loop for the iteration uh, whenever these contents will be printed then this ng container will not be added as a part of the dom and when this condition will be evaluated and the table cells will be printed then this ng container will not be part of the dom so we will not basically kind of pollute the dom with unnecessary container elements so this is not working because i have not actually added the table row Yep, we can actually put the entire row inside it. So now you can see that the layout of the cells in the table is according to the table columns and we can see only two objects being printed in the table which are conforming to the condition which we have given here. If I will go ahead and change the condition then we can see a different set of person objects being printed in this table and if i will press the f12 key and we can actually inspect the entire table so you can see that the ng container elements are not part of the dom um, when compared to the previous code which we did um, using the uh, div inside the table row so this is a pretty neat and clean way to apply the structural directive 
when they are needed to be used in a hierarchy or as a descendant of um, one another so yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys and i hope that you have understood what i'm um, trying to explain about the ng container element still if you think you have any questions or suggestions then feel free to use the comments area and i will make sure to reply to all of you and if you like the video then please place a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and you will be the first to know about the latest updates and till next time have a good day